which you can count on continues on News Channel 15's First at 5. New technology is helping doctors screen for breast cancer much earlier, and it's recommended for women as young as 25. Here's Alyssa Ivinson with tonight's stories for your well-being. It's a pap test for the breast, and it can find abnormal cells up to eight years before breast cancer develops. This is a story you'll only see on News Channel 15. Like two flowers, and it's a device that could help in the fight against breast cancer. Non-invasive, no penetrating needles, just warmth, pressure, and a small amount of suction. This is the Halo Breast Pap. It uses warmth and pressure to bring the fluid that is within the glands and the ductal system of the breast to the surface. Once the halo cups are placed on the woman, the process with the machine takes just five minutes. That fluid is absorbed into a Q-tip and then that Q-tip is placed into a vial. Just like a cervical pap smear, the fluid is sent to a lab to search for abnormal cells. It can find these cells or detect these cells up to eight years before something might show up on a mammogram. Mary Deal is a 36-year-old mother of two. She had the breast pap last week. I just felt it was a, a wonderful opportunity to, to be proactive in my health care. Another tool we could use to, to stay one step ahead of, of breast cancer. Mary says the pap was fast and didn't hurt. A strong pulling sensation just as if you were nursing a baby. Dr. Thaddeus Weghorst of Auburn OBGYN is the only doctor in the state using the Halo Pap. It's recommended for women ages 25 to 55. Only 1 to 2 percent of women screened will have atypical cells. It may be a needle in a haystack, but it's a very important needle. Having abnormal cells doesn't mean the woman has or will have breast cancer, but... If we can identify those people who need to be at a higher watch, we're going to catch things early and prevent that woman from developing a cancer. Right now, insurance does not cover the breast pap. It costs about $80, and Dr. Wakehorse says that if it becomes more widely used, like the cervical pap smear, it really could decrease the number of women who get breast cancer. Right now, that's one in eight. And it's so simple, it seems. Yeah. Yeah. It just takes five minutes. You can be in and out in about 15 minutes total. Okay. Thank you, Alyssa. Mm -hmm. After the break, Sandy's back with another look at your forecast. Stay with us.